Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Rosalyn Monique. And I know Thanksgiving is right around the corner and it's gonna be a lot different because of COVID and everything. But if you're anything like my family, you're still going to cook Thanksgiving dinner and you gotta have dessert. So this video, I'm actually doing a red velvet cake and I'm using a recipe that I came across on YouTube. Um, Coop can cook, I believe that's who it was. So I'm going to put the link to her recipe in the description box below. So make sure you go check that out because y'all, when I tell you this cake is so moist and so good, take my word for it, trust me. All right, so um, also I really want to separate my cooking videos from my regular channel videos. So I made a cooking channel. So make sure you go subscribe to that channel. I'm gonna put it right there. So um, when I get um, about 50 subscribers on that channel, I'm gonna go ahead and start posting um, some more cooking videos. But for now, I'm just gonna keep posting them on my main channel, which is this channel right here. Um, I think I already have two videos up already. Um, but I don't plan to put any more until I reach like 50 subscribers on that channel. So please make sure you go check that out if you are, if you really just want to see a lot of cooking videos from me, that channel is where you will see all of that. Um, so yeah, thank y'all so much once again for 200 plus subscribers. Um, we're going to keep growing and stay tuned. All right, so the first thing you want to do is brew some French vanilla coffee. And I wouldn't recommend making a full pot unless you just plan on drinking the coffee, but you only need a half cup for this recipe. All right, so now we're just going to mix all of our dry ingredients together. So I have two and a half cups of cake flour that I'm going to sift into this bowl. And you want to add two cups of granulated sugar. Now to our cake flour, we are going to add one teaspoon of baking powder, one tablespoon of baking soda, and my preference is to use the <laughs> box of baking soda that has the cookies at the back of the box and not the pots and pans at the front of the box because y'all know it can be used for cleaning as well. That's just my preference. I don't think there's a difference at all, but hey. <laughs> um, also, you're, you're going to need a fourth cup of cocoa powder and one teaspoon of salt. And then you just wanna stir that real good. Now to our flour mixture, we're going to add two eggs and one egg yolk, one cup of buttermilk, one and one third cups of vegetable oil, now you just wanna mix this for about 10 seconds on low speed just until it's fully combined. Then you wanna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of white vinegar, a half cup of warm French vanilla coffee that we made earlier, and two tablespoons of red food coloring. If you're using a one ounce box like I am, you will end up using that whole thing. That whole box equals two tablespoons. So now you wanna slowly mix everything together and then you wanna go in with your hand mixer for about one minute. Um, you don't wanna over mix this batter at all. I just didn't wanna start out with my hand mixer and then the coffee and everything went flying everywhere so just about a minute that's all you need with the hand mixer after you mixed it by hand all right so I have two nine inch baking pans here you can use three if you want um and we're just going to spray them really well so our cakes come out easily and in one piece <laughs> when we get them out the oven um I am actually I think I added two and a half cups of mix in each pan um you want to make sure you divide the mix evenly so you want to bake them for 20 to 25 minutes in a 350 degree oven. All right, y'all. So after the cakes cooled in the pan for about 10 minutes, I wrapped them in saran wrap. This is optional, but this is a trick that I got from another YouTuber. All right, y'all. So while our cakes are off to the side doing their own thing, we are going to go ahead and make our cream cheese frosting. 
you want to use one eight ounce container of Philadelphia cream cheese. I had mine at room temperature. Um, and also two sticks of butter. I'm using unsalted butter. I believe she used um, salted butter, but I prefer unsalted butter. Um, I believe that I don't think it made a difference. The frosting was actually amazing. So um, I don't think that makes a huge difference um, in taste. And now you just want to cream these two together until they're smooth. Now you want to go ahead and add four cups of powdered sugar. And I'm just going to stir in between each um, cup. And I was actually using a half cup. So if it looks like I'm adding like eight cups, that's why I'm using a half cup measuring cup. And last but not least, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now, I was actually making this cake for someone, so I decided to get all fancy and um, <laughs> uh, I put the cake on a cake circle and boxed it up and everything. So right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and ice in the cake. Um, you don't have to do all this extra stuff. I'm just, you can just put it on a plate. <laughs> but because I was, you know, giving it to someone, I wanted to make it presentable. So, don't laugh at my icing job, y'all. <laughs> I'm still practicing. But this is what it looked like when it was done. I know there's this big debate on whether or not pecans go on red velvet cake or not. But this is what they wanted. So this is what they got. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you can notify whenever I post another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.